Okay, as we're approaching the bridge, let me share some statistics with you about it. The construction of a bridge to span the five miles of open water between the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan posed many problems. It would have, would have to allow shipping lanes beneath it to carry seagoing freighters and Great Lakes freighters, while at the same time carrying a heavy flow of traffic on its surface above. It was necessary that the bridge be able to withstand incredible loads, infinite wind stresses, storms, and extreme temperature changes. That all of these aims were accomplished is a testimonial to the G got underway and groundbreaking ceremonies were held in the spring of 1954. Throughout 1954, a fleet of tugs and barges worked completing the water-based piers. During 1955, the above water portions of the piers and the steel towers took shape. During 1956, the catwalks were strung and the work of stringing the cables progressed around the clock. The structure began to take on the appearance of a bridge. Early in 1957, the superstructure construction began outward from each tower. By midsummer, the span was joined in the center, and next to come was the roadway grid construction, and by Labor Day, it was progressing nicely. With the roadway completed and ready for traffic, the bridge was open November the 1st, 1957. So it was begun in 1954, completed in 1957. Here's some interesting facts about the bridge. The total length of the bridge with its approaches is five miles. The total length of the steel structure is 19,243 feet. The length of the suspension bridge, including the anchorages, 8,614 feet. The total length of the north approach, 7,000 feet. And the, uh, the height, the main towers above the water, 552 feet main towers above the water, 552 feet. The maximum depth of the water at the mid-span of the bridge, bridge is 295 feet. Ooh. The maximum depth... Ooh. Yeah, it says high winds today, right? So. <laughs> you feel that? Well, I'm glad we've got a railing over there. <laughs> He's grabbed the hold of you all of a sudden. Yeah, it does. They actually do occasionally have to close the bridge because of the wind conditions here. Uh, if it's really exceptionally strong, they will uh, close it down. But the maximum depth of the water at mid-span is 295 feet. The depth of the tower piers below the water, now this is how far those piers reach below the water, 210 feet. The height of roadway above the water at the mid-span is 199 feet. And uh, let's see. The cables, there's a total length of wire in these main cables out here at each of these spans. Uh, when you see the towers, total length of wire in the main cables, 42,000 miles of cable. There are 12,580 wires in each cable. The weight of the cables is 11,840 tons. That's a lot of cables. Yes, sure is. Oh, my goodness. We're going to a special place today, Mackinac Island. Well, wait, this is kind of like an obstacle course, isn't it? Test your driving skill here, son. But it's pleasant. It's right, you know, by the stores and everything. Everything's within walking distance there, except the Grand Hotel. You could walk from the Grand Hotel down to the downtown if you want to, for those of you who like to walk. But uh, otherwise, we, we purchase carriage rides for you or taxi service. Why don't you just uh, create some good memories over there on the island today?